The number of people who don't have access to the internet is actually going up over time, which is like a very counterintuitive thing. Most problems seem to be getting incrementally better, and this one seems to be getting incrementally worse. At this time in history, internet is a fundamental human right, and there are still billions of people in the world who don't have access to it, and that's a problem we're trying to solve. Most of the internet that you might think of be coming from a cable, a coax cable or optical fiber. But then there's a lot of regions that's, that don't have that infrastructure. They don't have fiber, they don't have the phone lines dragged out. Our customers are looking for the lowest cost internet that they can get. They're providing internet to their customers who might only be paying four or five dollars a month for an internet connection on their cell phone. It's very, very hard and very expensive to take cables all around, especially if you have mountains or oceans or things like that but everyone can see the sky. And so if you can just see the sky, then you can connect to the satellite and you can do that from essentially anywhere in the world. If you hear about traditional satellite internet, you have a lot of good thoughts. It's slow, it's big, it's heavy, it's expensive. A traditional telecommunication satellite is this like giant monstrosity. It is the size of a double-decker bus. It can cost 300 million, 500 million, sometimes a billion dollars. You could place the order for that satellite and then wait years before it's on orbit and you're ever seeing a dollar of revenue coming in off of the service from that satellite. Astronus flips that. If you want to make a satellite that is small, it is fast, it is reliable. With a small satellite, we can build them faster and at a much lower cost than anyone has ever built a satellite of this type before. To do that uh, requires us to bring the price point down and make that something that is accessible and, and is connectable to all these different other places around the world. So our satellites are orbiting at geostationary orbit. The amount of time it takes for them to orbit around the Earth is the same amount of time that the Earth turns. The dishes that you use, the way to connect to that satellite, you don't have to track things moving around like airplanes. You're just pointing at one spot all the time. And all these decisions allow us to work faster and get service to our customers. Way, way different than anyone else has ever done it before. So it's really rare that a company that's building sophisticated hardware, especially hardware for space, opens its doors and, and lets you film it. So I see it as like the opportunity of a lifetime to film and capture a company building things that will go in space 22,000 miles away from us um, and benefit the rest of the world. It's a story that's never been told before on um, the level we're gonna tell it. I think we're excited to share kind of like the good and the bad. And so for people who are interested in that, this is a cool opportunity to learn like, what is it like to work at a startup? We're moving fast, we're venture capital back, so we're iterating and testing. Uh, allows us to just do things at a different pace than traditional space, and that allows us to disrupt, it allows us to, uh, allows us to innovate. In reality, the things that are really going to change the world are the hard projects, the ones that require people to be in the office and cranking on hardware and working in these long hours. I'm here for the mission, so just being able to work on a project and then in a year time see it go to space, that's what I'm really excited for. I identify with the mission because my parents uh, immigrated here from Nigeria. It's very hard to get ahead in those spaces and to get lucky enough uh, to be born and raised here. I look to impact my community back home and provide internet accessibility so that those kids have the same opportunities that I've had. It's mind-blowing to think that there are people out there in the world that don't have access to it when it's so woven into my life and what I do because I don't think that I would be the person I am today without internet. I think it's really cool because I've loved all the prior jobs I've done, but I haven't always been invested in the goal. Um, and it's really inspiring to come to work and wake up and care about what you're doing and like know that it's going to improve people's lives. We have a really big goal of connecting the unconnected world. It's like over 4 billion people. It's not going to happen overnight, but we're going to tell that story as it happens one satellite at a time.